Welcome to another edition of Dynatrace's Partner Cafe. I'm Rob Jan, a partner solution advocate here at Dynatrace. In today's episode, we're going to be going over our Dynatrace solution for AWS Control Tower. Let's get going. More and more, we're seeing our customers rely on AWS implementing our AWS CloudWatch monitoring solution to gain a complete end-to-end picture of their cloud environment. How this works is we're ingesting cloud metrics published to AWS CloudWatch for databases, networks, compute services, and Dynatrace brings this automatically into a pre-built dashboard and also feeds all this data into the AI engine where it starts with automatically baselining these metrics and then helping feed into root cause analysis by Davis. So who is this solution for? It's really for anyone that's going to have multiple AWS accounts with dynamic teams that may be requesting this for self-service and wants to do this in a consistent, repeatable manner. Here I am on the AWS Marketplace page, which has a great overview about the Control Tower platform, which is designed for simplifying the management across multiple accounts. And what it has is a couple of categories of third-party solutions, which Dynatrace is one. So there are two broad use cases, one around operational readiness, which deals with security and identity management, networking, and then also another use case called operational excellence. And so this is where Dynatrace fits in. So we're in the operational intelligence area where it's about bringing observability across your multiple accounts and regions. Let me show you a demo what this looks like. Well, here we are in the AWS Management Console. And we're gonna go into the CloudFormation stack. So at first we start with creating our stack. We're gonna upload the template from the file that you can download from our GitHub repo. And then we're gonna go and proceed to enter in the remaining information, which starts with giving the stack a name. And then you'll see on the bottom, we have the API key and URL. Here now in, Ada, in Dynatrace, we can see the account is created with our account. And now if we go into the monitoring dashboard within Dynatrace for this newly created account, we can see the account has been populated and it will take a few minutes for data to actually come across, but we can already see that the Lambda functions that were created by the AWS Control Tower job are already being uh, identified. Let's conclude here with some of the uh, benefits that we've seen. So firstly, with AWS Control Tower, we're gaining the guardrails to enforce the policies and do this for an enterprise scalable way. And we're doing so with zero configuration, so all that manual effort and mistakes are taken out of the equation. And then with Dynatrace, with all this data now, we're automatically baselining and feeding this into our AI engine Davis. And all of this is completely enterprise scalable, providing you complete observability. A great way to get started is to head over to Dynatrace.com, click on our chat, and speak to one of our very knowledgeable team members. And thank you for watching another episode of Partner Cafe. If you've liked what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just reach out to me at the Real Rob Jan.